Okay, so I'm Olivia. Um, I'm the founder of Everlasting Memories, which is where you come for 3D castings. Um, I usually like to show bonds of families through the casting. So usually they're holding hands, they could be single casts of newborn babies. We also do bereavement casts as a memory to treasure. And I also do pet castings too. So Everlasting Memories for me is all about memories. And with 3D casting, it usually shows love, bonds, really a connection, which is why I love it. So it could be relationships, it could be partners that you're doing it with, it could be your sons, your daughters, your mum, your nan. It just gives you that forever bond. And instead of like a picture which you can look at, you can physically hold the memory, you can see every little detail of their hands. And for me, I started because of the meaning of it. When I had two children, one of the first things I'd done was cast their hands. And now, to look back at photos and think, oh, they look tiny, but then to see their hands and think, you was once this tiny, is just unbelievable. So that's what I want to do for families. I really want to be able to capture memories that they can treasure forever, whether that be tiny babies, adults, just, it's an everlasting memory. So the benefits of a cast are always it's like a memory frozen in time. So again, with babies, you forget, you easily forget, you think you remember, but until you see that hand of your now five-year-old and when the newborn baby, it sort of reminds you of how small they once were and all those moments that come with it. So when they were born and your thoughts, your feelings, it brings back emotion. So in the cast, I think it benefits you because it gives you that memory. It, it reflects to a time that you love, so also with bereavement cast, if, you, if you've sadly lost someone, you want as many memories of them as possible. So with a cast, you could still hold their hand. You could look at every little tiny detail so you don't have to worry about forgetting about it. You know, you can have pictures which are just as beautiful, but this one you actually hold. And the thought of holding their hand forever, even when you think they're not here anymore, they're sort of always with you. So the last six months have actually been really amazing. So I surprisingly got nominated for Pride in Medway, which I was completely shocked about. And it was for good care. So it means that someone felt my passion and knew that this wasn't just a job. This, I love to do this. I love to create memories, be part of that, and just share that happiness in that moment and know that they can take it away with them. So someone nominated me for, for that reason, basically. Um, which meant I went in a room with hundreds of incredible people, um, which have all helped, like the community and lots of charities there. And it was just nice to actually be in that room and know that someone recognised that I'm there to help. Uh, aside from that, we've also been doing lots more castings. Um, I think people are starting to get out there a bit more knowing that I exist, really, which is really nice. Um, so I've had lots of families I've recently done holding hands cast for mum, dad and son, which was really lovely. Um, dad and newborn baby, it's their first child. So it was like showing the bond of the dad and the little girl. I've, there's countless at the minute, to be honest, which is brilliant. I think for me was um, casting this family's dad who had passed away and he wrote a review, which has really just stuck with me saying that, you know, I come out quite quick and was really lovely with the care that I provided for his dad and his family. And he left a review to say that it was nice that even though his dad had passed, he could feel every little wrinkle in his hand and he could hold his hand as dad forever. And obviously now, recently losing my stepdad, I sort of, I knew how much it meant, but now it, it shines through that little bit more, that little bit of, I understand how important those little bumps of hands are that casting that means the absolute world and to hold their hand is just incredible so I first started work working with forever thin me which is an incredible charity that casts sleeping babies so we go out to families I cover Kent and the founders Charlotte and Rob they cover Essex what we do is we aim to create memories with the parents and babies so we always say you know take photos of whilst I cast so that you can look back and say we done this with him or we done this with her. We like to also talk about the baby as much as possible so we say about you know their features, their hands, they've got lovely, a lot of them have lovely dimples in like their knuckles and all the little wrinkles in their feet and 
you know, we laugh and say about, you know, their feet are big like dads or they've got mum's hair and it's just a really beautiful moment because we want to make the memory as nice as possible in the most heartbreaking situation. And also with working with Forever Finley, they're actually always continuously trying to help. So we set up um, a support group for all parents that we meet so they can all come together and say, I feel this, is it normal? Or, you know, just, just rant a little bit because, you know, a big thing with losing a baby is the taboo around it what people do and don't say you know they wrote me a Christmas card but my baby wasn't in it he still exists or you know I tried to talk to friends about it but they kind of changed the subject or people have completely blanked me ever since and it's all these emotions that if you haven't had anyone around you that you know that has also had this you kind of feel really alone so with this group, we're hoping that, you know, the mums and the dads can come together and say, like, I felt this, have you been through it? And they can sort of give guidance of, do you know what, well, that happened to us, this is how we dealt with it. It's really lovely. And we've also got um, now little cards with a little poem on that are going to go with baby um, when they're laid to rest. And then the parents are going to have one too. So it's a forever connection. And it also says about them being the brightest star. So that we know that whenever they see a star, they know it's a sign. They know that that's a little one saying, you know what, I'm okay, like, don't worry, because that's all they're ever going to do is worry sort of thing. And another thing we're really, really trying to do is to get into universities or hospitals and um, Charlotte and Rob to do like a, how do you say, like a conference thing so that they can share their story about Finley. And hopefully, you know, if it just goes into like one midwife or, or someone at university that's learning midwifery, it can hopefully change and save lives of babies that are unfortunately lost through, you know, medical negligence as such. So... You know, we want to help parents whilst, when, when their baby's born sleeping, but we also want to do our best to try to prevent us even having to go to that family in that circumstance and maybe meet them under a different circumstance. And as well as Forever Finley, I also liaised in with Ross from Hashtag Dads and Lads. And he also has another charity, Nine for Nora, because his little girl was born and died um, shortly after nine hours. So he started that charity... Um, He's been doing lots and lots of charity runs, marathons to raise money and giving them like stands and stuff to help um, other, pa other bereaved parents. And then what got me most and what actually made me get in contact with Ross was he said in the start of 2020 January, he's going to open a charity which helps dads and lads. So mental health wise. So that really hit me. I mean, I lost my stepdad in October to suicide and leading up to his death it felt that there was no one to help it wasn't that we were, we didn't reach out it was that everyone was like we're going to do this and it never happened and to to sort of put myself in his mindset a little bit and think you know you it's not that you didn't want to get help you tried to get help but no one would help you and you're already in that mindset that no one cares and that the world's better off without you to go to a health service that essentially paid to help you don't help you time and time again you kind of feel at a loss and you it's almost implementing that feeling even more that no one cares so when he said that he was going to do this and the charity runs days out with men and you don't have to talk like therapy you don't have to say oh how are you feeling and be put on the spot it's just you're going out with a group of lads and you know that they're all there because they're all struggling but whether you choose to talk about it or not, you don't have to, but just that comfort zone and that support system that you know is there, I think is life-changing and I just wish it was there before. I'm running a raffle to try to raise as much money and awareness as possible because I think it's important and I think it's needed. For the next six months, I plan to continuously build awareness of my business and the charities as well. Um, I think it's important that everyone knows that exists so they know where to get help. We're hoping with Forever Finley to get in all of Kent hospitals, which has been a little bit of a struggle. I think it's um, more liaising with them and, you know, sh I think they need to meet us as a team to know what it is about, what the Carsons are about, um, what we aim to do, how we aim to take parents. And also with the Men's Mental Health Charity, even once I've finished raising money, I really want to help them get awareness just because there's so many people struggling. And with Kent, where I'm from, being the biggest rate in suicides, I think something really needs to change. 
because you hear of the stories every day, but when you really sit and think about not only what that person's going through, but the whole family, it's like the ripple effect of of how it's affecting people, which I don't think, you know, people realise that if someone's saying they want to take their life, they're not just saying it for attention, they're saying it because they want you to see that and help them. And then if the help's not there, you almost, like I said before, you almost feel like it's, it's true, no one cares. So with this charity, I just want people to know they do care. This is a different outlook. You don't have to go to counselling if you don't want to. You don't have to even talk whilst you're out, but you can go to golf or something. You can see, play with these lads, you can joke about, and then you, you maybe build that relationship enough to say, do you know what, I am struggling. And just because you're a man, it doesn't mean to say you've got to put on a brave face all the time. So, and for me personally, with Everlasting Memories, I, I want to build awareness to know that people know I'm there if they need me. They may not want to, or they may use someone else, who knows, but read my reviews and hear what other people are saying that have come to me to know that I am different from the rest because it's not just a job, it's a passion. And I want that love and affection that you've got with whoever you're casting, whether that be yourself or with your partner, I want it to shine through. And I want them to know that every step of the way is their cast and I will help create the perfect cast for them. My husband, first and foremost, he's been one to, he's, God love him, he's like my counsellor as well, you know, I talk to him through everything, you know, I had this cast today and, you know, it was really sad or it was really lovely and just everything. He, he knows my dream and he pushes me to follow it. He's not one to put obstacles in the way or he gives me ideas of, you know what, why don't you do this because then people will see this about you and stuff like he's, he's been my number one support from from day dot basically and then obviously Charlotte and Rob they've been just amazing just as people they're inspirational like their pain of losing Finley is now helping so many families like his legacy is just incredible and the kindness like they're, they're just really kind people they're the sort of people that you know you want to be around they sort of support you and just I don't know they're just they just like really, they've been there for me, like even outside of work, like when I lost my stepdad and stuff, they, they sort of said like, are you okay? Like really? And you know, you know, everyone asked, but they asked me and they, they asked me in a way where I knew that they wanted a truthful answer, not just you're okay. Like, are you actually okay? Because we can see through it sort of thing, which is really lovely. And we've, you know, we've grown really good friendships since I've actually teamed up with them, which has been really lovely. And I also think my children, they keep me going for everything. You know, they, they're literally, from the moment they get up to the go of sleep, they are live wires. But they are my every bit of why I want to help people to make memories because they grow so quick. You know, my youngest son's just turned three and I'm pretty sure he was, you know, it feels like he was only born like a few months ago. It just flies. So making memories that last forever is so important because... Before you know it, they're, they're literally, that's all you've got, is memories. So with the video and the photos, I'm hoping to again just build awareness. Um, obviously I'd like to help my business be seen, but more importantly the charities, because the charity is about taboos that no one talks about, you know, men's mental health in particular, babies born sleeping I think people need to see it people need to talk about it and you know it it could help families so so much and it brings hope and it brings breaking that silence of do we talk about it do we not talk about it do we you need to talk about it because those people are wanting to talk about it because they need your guidance they need your support they need something around them to help them in the most devastating time and so if this video can bring anything, I hope it just gets someone to talk and reach out. So if you've taken the time to watch this, I just want to say thank you. And hopefully I'll see you in the studio soon.